and welcome to a new video on my channel. In today's tutorial I want to show you how to make a cute slipper from Chunky Yarn. This is one size, it's a European 38-39 or US 9-10 to but you can change the pattern to suit your needs. You can add more increases for a wider foot you can add more rows here for a longer foot. You can add rows here or here to change the size of this slipper. It's super fast. You don't need to seam except one tiny bit here at the back. And you can use any chunky yarn. I like to use felting wool because wool keeps me warm and it's easy to wash and if somehow it grows a bit from wearing, I can put it in the washing machine and it goes back down a bit by felting. So what you need for one of these slippers is some chunky yarn. I have this yarn with some pink streaks in it. It's a yarn for felting. They recommend using an 8 millimeter needle and it has 50 meters per 50 grams. This particular yarn is from Lana Grossa, but you can find a lot of these. If you want something more hard wearing, don't get yarn for felting. Get something that has multiple plies in a similar weight. You also need a 6mm hook and a tapestry needle that fits this big yarn to finish it off. For one slipper in this size you will use about 50 grams of yarn. A larger size of course you will need a bit more yarn and if you want to felt it down this should shrink about 40 percent, 30 to 40 percent. So if you want to make felted slippers you can and if you make this size you will probably get a child sized slipper but you will have to experiment with that. The length of this particular slipper that I'm going to show you how to make is 24 centimeters. I will tell you in this tutorial where the places are where you can add more stitches or more rows to make this bigger. We begin with a magic ring and put 12 double crochet stitches in it. I use a standing double crochet stitch so I yarn over with the loop on the hook and then insert the hook into the magic ring, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then continue with double crochet stitches until you have 12. When you have 12, pull on the tail close the magic ring and slip stitch into the first stitch. That's the first row. In the next row we increase six stitches. So in the first stitch we will make two and then in the next stitch we will make one double crochet. To begin I always like to make a standing double crochet so you pull up a tall loop, yarn over using this tall loop, insert the hook into the first stitch, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Next, another double crochet stitch in the same stitch, and then one double crochet stitch in the next stitch. Two double crochet stitches in the next stitch. one double crochet stitch in the next stitch. Now we repeat these all around until we have 18 double crochet stitches. We slip stitch into the first stitch. If you prefer the look of this back and forth to be all across the slipper, 
you should turn at the end of each row instead of going like this because otherwise you will have two different textures one for the beginning and then one for the end of the slipper but if you're okay with the look of this slipper as it is then continue working in rows without turning on the next row we have two double crochet stitches in the first stitch and then two double crochet stitches one in each of the next two stitches as before we have one standing double crochet at the beginning of the row and then we repeat these stitches until the end so we have two in one and then one in each of the next two We slip stitch into the first stitch. Now we have the last row of increases. If you want to make the slipper bigger, so it fits a bigger foot, you have to make more increases on this row. But for the size I am showing, you will have 4 increases for a total of 28 stitches on this row. And we make 2 increases at the beginning. We have the standing double crochet stitch and one more stitch in the same stitch and then two double crochet stitches in the next stitch. Then we have ten double crochet stitches. Then you have two increases again, so you make two double crochet stitches in each of the next two stitches. Then another ten double crochet stitches. Slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and now we make just double crochet stitches around. We will do this for a total of 5 rows. We begin with the standing double crochet stitch and make 1 double crochet in each of the next 27 stitches. So we will have a total of 28 double crochet stitches at the end of this row. Slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. And now make four more rows like this. After the five rows are done, you will start making the end part of the slipper. If you want to make this longer without making it wider, you can add a few more rows here. To make the bottom part of the slipper, we start again with the standing double crochet stitch and make 20 total double crochet stitches. Now 
This leaves eight unworked stitches and these will be the front part of the hole for your foot. If you added more stitches here at the beginning, you want to leave eight stitches here if you increased by two, ten if you increased by four or six and so on. So you want to increase this proportionally with the increases in the width. Now we turn with the yarn in front and we continue making 20 stitches going back and forth for four more rows. I will get back to you when that is done. Once the five rows are done or however many you want to make for the size of heel that you want to make, we turn again and make six double crochet stitches. If you made more increases here, you will have to adjust the number of stitches here as well. Next up we have two clusters of four double crochet stitches. So to make the first one we yarn over, insert the hook into the first stitch, pick up a loop, yarn over both or two. We repeat this three more times. And then yarn over pull through five loops on the hook. This is a decrease and we do this again. So yarn over insert the hook into the first stitch, pick up a loop, yarn over pull through two and then do this three more times. Yarn over pull through all five loops on the hook and now we have six more double crochet stitches. This creates the beginning of the back of the slipper, so the heel area. And now we turn and next we have five half double crochet stitches. So we yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. And we do this five times. And now we have a double crochet four together. So just like before, we yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, four times. And then yarn over, pull through five. And now we have five more half double crochet stitches. And the slipper is almost finished. We need to cut off the yarn leaving a tail. If you have this kind of roving yarn you can just pull it apart and pull it through the last stitch. And using the tapestry needle You have to close up this little U-shape and to do this first we go to the other side from back to front and then back to the first side. We go through the first stitch on that side and then to the first stitch on the other side. Then to the second stitch Second stitch on the other side And just keep doing this until you reach the double crochet four together Now 
if you're using roving and it starts to untwist, you can twist the needle and it will become much sturdier. This is the seam complete. This is what it looks like on the inside. And now you can weave in this end by going back and forth three times through the fabric. You can cut off the excess yarn. And now the slipper is almost finished. You can leave it like this, but I don't like this edge. So I will attach yarn again. Chain one and make two single crochet stitches in each of these double crochet stitches on the side until you reach the front part here. When you reach the front of the slipper, you have one single crochet in the first stitch, one half double crochet in the second stitch, one double crochet in the third stitch, then you have two double crochet stitches in the next stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch, One double crochet in the next stitch. One half double crochet in the next stitch. And then one single crochet in the last stitch on the front. And that creates this cute flap that will go up the leg when you wear the slipper. Then we continue with single crochet stitches along this edge. Two in each of the double crochet stitches. In the side of the half double crochet stitch you just make one stitch. Now that you're back to the beginning you can cut the yarn. And pull the end through and then use the tapestry needle to create an invisible seam. By going with the needle under the two bars of the single crochet here, the first one, and then back through the last single crochet. Now you can weave in the ends. Cut off the excess yarns and the slipper is finished. Now we have two slippers that look the same and fit the same size of foot. The shape will improve once the wearer takes them on the first time because they will mold to the shape of the foot.
they are not supposed to be wide they're supposed to fit snugly around and you can wear these while sitting on the couch or on an armchair even while sitting at the desk working i don't recommend to make them for wearing as house shoes because they will be slippery if you can find it you can attach a rubber sole to these or you can add the puff paint to the stitches if you want to make them for walking in the house as you can see this is a very quick project and it works up in no time in this chunky yarn so i hope you will make a few for the winter season and that you will enjoy wearing them if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and save it if you want to come back to it to make some more slippers in the future you will find the written instructions for the same size that i showed in the video on my blog if you prefer to follow along with written instructions and if you want to know when i publish more videos and patterns make sure to subscribe to my channel and my email updates thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye